This is the king of pop, but you probably know him as my Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. With Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And in case you've been living under a rock and don't know who he is, let me explain. Michael Joseph Jackson was a singer, songwriter, dancer, record producer, choreographer, philanthropist, actor, and entrepreneur, also known as the King of Pop. He's considered to be one of the most influential musical artists of popular music due to his contribution to the world of music, dance, fashion, and entertainment. Thanks to his live performances and his videos, he has popularized dance techniques such as the moonwalk, the toe stand, the anti gravity lean, and the robot dance, which we'll get to later. Coming to be considered one of the best dancers ever, with over 1 billion copies be sold worldwide. He's one of the most successful musical artists with sales comparable only to Elvis Presley and the Beatles. In 1982, he released his sixth album, Thriller, which is still the best selling in history of music. With estimating sales going from 70 to 100 million copies globally, 34 million of which in the United States alone, making it the best selling and the most certified studio album in the country. His other recording projects, including of which Off the Wall, Bad, Dangerous and History are also catalogued among the best selling albums in the world where Blood on the Dance Floor is catalogued as the best-selling remix album in the world. He was one of the few artists to have been inducted twice into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, once as a soloist and once as a member of the Jackson 5. He was also inducted into 10 other Hall of Fames, including the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Dance Hall of Fame, the only dancer from the world of music industry. Since November 20th, 1984, his name has been present among the celebrities on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles. Among the major acknowledgements received by the artists include 15 Grammy Awards out of 38 nominations, 39 Guinness World World Record Awards, 26 American Music Awards, 16 World Music Awards, and 15 MTV Video Music Awards. He has also often made headlines for his private life, including his change in appearance. His skin underwent evident depigmentation caused by vitiligo. His cosmetic surgery procedures, his personal relationships, and the allegations of harassment, of which he was declared innocent in 2005. As well for his humanitarian initiatives, such as the creation of charities to protect the rights of children and animals. Anyways, I think you get the point. He's done all kinds of shows until one day in 1984, it all changed. He announced that he was making a new show and one of the world's most famous magicians, Franz Harari, was a huge fan of Michael's and wanted to be part of the show, so he sent him a video of him making a card disappear. Take a look. Michael saw it and had him design all of the magic for his tour. They even had a magazine showing all of the magic in Michael's tour and only then did people realize Michael's love for magic. And this worked out only for the best because as Michael said, Magic. That's what I wanted to create on stage. I wanted to give the fans a performance that they would never forget. That was always what I was striving for every time I was about to put on a show. But yes, I know he's clicked on the video for one thing and for one thing only, the shoes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Smooth Criminal on YouTube and go to minute 704. The Lovers were first seen in the Bath Tour in 1987 and later made famous in 1988 in the music video for Smooth Criminal. People had no idea how he was able to pull this off because it seemed to break the laws of physics. It was described as a scientifically anomaly. In a study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, scientists broke down what's going on when somebody tries to do the anti-gravity lean. The average person can lean forward with a straight back at around 20 degrees. If they lean any further, the tension goes and goes and they would fall. And that's the funny part, because Michael Jackson leaned forward with a straight back at about 45 degrees while doing the anti-gravity lean. So the question is, why could Michael lean twice as far as everybody else? Well, it turns out he had some help. These loafers were customized with a special heel that allowed him to lean at 45 degree angle during the performance. The heel was made by Michael Bush, one of Jackson's long-term costume designers. He wanted the shoe to not only look good, but also to be functional for other dance routines. The shoes were made with special metal hitch that hooked onto the nail in the stage floor, which allowed Michael to lean forward at an impossible angle. These shoes were so iconic that they were auctioned in 2012 for $120,000. It turns out, Jackson didn't just invent the dance move, he patented it. The lean, as the move is called, dates back to the 1800s, at least. Often used by vaudeville comedy teams, the move required amazing leg strength and a small body size. Magician Bert Easley popularized the method using special props in the early 1950s 
abilities, but still the move required strength and balance. Jackson Patton involved a mechanical device that would assist his dancers to be able to perform the move without such incredible strength and effort. The Patton rights with a special shoe design ended on October 26, 2005, after Jackson's failure to pay a final maintenance fee to the federal government that opened the door for anyone to use the design, including magicians. So what are you waiting for? Go buy yourself some special shoes! If you like this video, you'll probably like the one on screen as well. Subscribe if you love Michael Jackson. My name is Peace out.